planted 300 trees. Which is why me and Mark Rober decided to band together a bunch of influencers and try to plant 20 million trees together. Our insane goal is to plant 20 million trees by 2020. That gives us two months. We're calling this team Trees and we- I feel like we could do this. We could plant a tree, right? How hard could that be? Let's plant one. Where do I get a tree from? I'm sure we could find one. All right, so here's the idea. We're gonna walk back to the car. Uh, I think we're gonna try to head over to like a garden store maybe, I think, and we're gonna go pick up a tree. This video here today is for Team Tree. So I'm gonna support this gigantic YouTube collaboration that Mr. B started along with Mark Rober. And Destin from Smarter Every Day is involved. And also there's a ton of YouTubers involved. Slow-mo guys, they, they got everybody going. But basically what they're trying to do here is get 20 million trees planted before January 1st, 2020, which is in like two months, so. We're gonna get started. We get a tree. We're gonna get started today. Let's do this. All right, I think I found a place here. These guys gotta have trees, right? Oh yeah, I see some right there. We got a nice big tree. All right, end of the year. I guess. Uh, I guess this is what we got. I think we're gonna try this guy. Red maple. Brandy wine. Seems like it could work, right? Oh my god. Hey, we're good. I don't know. Yeah. If I can carry this and vlog at the same time. This is what we're going with. I'm gonna plant this guy in the woods somewhere. It's true. Ooh. Okay, we got a tree. Not exactly the uh, nicest looking tree, but I mean, it's almost winter time, so I don't know what you expect. No leaves on it, but I think it'll survive. I really think this one through. How do I get in the car? I don't know if this is gonna fit. You know that feeling when something seems like it's gonna be a great idea and you get halfway through it and you start second guessing that and thinking maybe this wasn't a great idea? Uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Oh, hey there, little buddy. Oh, stay right there. You're freaking me out. Oh, God, I touched it. Oh, that's a terrible idea. Oh, my goodness, that's a terrible idea. Holy smokes, I'm holding a snake. I know he's a tiny little snake, but this is terrifying. Oh, my goodness. All right, I'm going to put you down. Hey, dude. Oh, hello. You feisty. He's angry. Look at you. You're bad. You're mean. Back it up. He doesn't like me. That was terrifying. I've never done anything like that before. I don't like snakes. I can't believe I just held him. I know he's a little snake, but that was terrifying. Let's get out of here. Let's go plant a tree. Hope we don't see any more. You stay right there. Okay. Goodbye. All right. All right. So we got one tree. Only uh, 19 million. 999 all right so that's a ton of trees 20 million trees is a lot of trees there's one tree was hard enough to try to get in the car and get over here probably could have done that a little better with a truck or something but better idea mr beast along with mark rober have teamed up with the arbor day foundation it's like the largest non-profit organization that focuses on tree planting and forest rebuilding and what the arbor day foundation has agreed to do is to plant one tree for every one dollar that you and I donate to the Arbor Day Foundation as part of Team Trees. When you think about it, that's a pretty good deal considering I spent quite a bit of money just for this one tree. So a dollar for one tree, that's that's a good deal. Oh my God, there's another snake. Where are you going? There he goes. We're gonna try to plant this tree as fast as possible because there are too many snakes here. All right, it's a good little spot here. Some sunlight, I like this. We're gonna plant it over here. Okay, so I don't know how many of you guys know this about me, but me and nature don't exactly see eye to eye. I don't like things like snakes. The idea of hiking in the middle of the woods 
is not my idea of fun. This is kind of torture for me, but we're doing it. We're doing it for team trees. Hopefully you guys know that trees and big forests like this are one of mother nature's best ways to pull CO2 out of the atmosphere. This is something that NASA has been studying pretty intensely for years now using their Orbiting Carbon Observatory or OCO missions. In fact, they just launched a brand new one of those, OCO3, on board SpaceX's CRS-17 mission, which I was actually in Florida and watched launch personally. So let me tell you about the Orbiting Carbon Observatory 3. This is a payload that's going to be on the GEM exposed module. So it's hanging on the outside of the ISS looking down at the Earth. And what are we doing? We're trying to measure atmospheric carbon dioxide. So now those OCO missions that I was talking about, we've got two that are up there, OCO2 and OCO3 now. OCO2 was launched into a sun-synchronous polar orbit by United Launch Alliance back in 2014. That essentially means that it's going over the poles. It can cover pretty much the entire globe and it's always in daylight. So so take a look at this sped up analysis from NASA. This is the data collected by OCO2 over an entire year. The levels of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere fluctuate throughout the year as the seasons change. You can see that most of the carbon dioxide sources are present in the northern hemisphere, so carbon dioxide levels rise quite high during the winter months when trees and plants aren't pulling as much CO2 out of the atmosphere. But as we get into the spring and summer months and photosynthesis really kicks into high gear, plants and trees start pulling tons of CO2 out of the atmosphere and bring those levels back down just in time for fall and winter to come along and start the process all over again. As you might imagine, the CO2 balance is pretty delicate. CO2 isn't really all bad. I mean, for humans and animals, it's bad. Studies have shown that if you increase the CO2 concentration just by a little bit, the some animals will actually just die off. However, studies on plants and trees actually have shown that a high concentration of CO2 can actually spur development and growth for plants and trees. So some CO2 is actually pretty good. The problem we have right now is that the CO2 that's being produced and released into the atmosphere is not being absorbed back by plants and trees at the same rate. So year after year, the levels of CO2 continue to rise. Now carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas that's along with water vapor and methane and a few other gases. That essentially means that they absorb and emit radiant energy. So the more we have of that, that means that there's more energy and heat being retained by our atmosphere. Now greenhouse gases kind of get a bad rap, but having some greenhouse gases is actually a good thing. Because without greenhouse gases, our planet and the atmosphere would have an average temperature of something like zero degrees Fahrenheit instead of the actual average that we have now, which is about 59 degrees Fahrenheit. But if CO2 levels continue to rise, then we're still retaining more heat and more energy and our global average temperature will continue to rise as well. And it's this continual rise in the global temperature that people are concerned about because that causes other things like the oceans increasing with temperature. And along with that comes glaciers and ice sheets melting and having less snow coverage, all of which contributes to the sea level rising, which puts our population centers in danger. And one of the best ways we can combat a against that is to retain our forests. So 20 million trees is not nearly enough to completely pull back the CO2 levels. We would need something like a trillion trees to do that. But 20 million trees is a pretty big start. And more importantly, what that shows is the power when us creators and you, the audience, are united on a common goal because we can do this. Now, I'm hoping you guys will join me in this movement. Now, you don't have to plant a tree. That was kind of a pain and I'm exhausted. There's a much easier way. You can go to teamtrees.org and for every $1 you contribute to the Arbor Day Foundation, we'll plant one new tree. That's way easier than what I just did. So go out, join the movement, and who doesn't love new trees, right? Well, I guess except for us, when our weather balloon lands in a, in a tree. I guess that's no fun, but forget about that. This is for the earth, for mother nature. Now I gotta get out of here and see if I can avoid the snakes. Okay, let's do it. I kinda wanna climb up this hill here. Oh my God, another snake. Okay, no more running in the woods. Way too many snakes out here. There's another one, right here. Look at this. 